Hello, this is Vampire. For today's lesson, I am going to be working with double training knives, but uh, this lesson could still be done with single training knife or, of course, single stick. Okay, so real quick, today's lesson is a little bit more on the intermediate side, and the only reason why I say that is because re to really get the full effect benefit from this video is you need to kind of already know the Heaven 6 and the different types of arm weaving, and you should be able to go you know, from one form to the next, you know, pretty much at will, uh, without worrying about which one am I doing. You know, if you're still at the stage of getting those down, this is a little bit advanced for you. All right, so pretty much uh, the beginning of the year, what we've been working on is when the arms cross position right here, which is normally a bad position for a person, uh, we've been actually making this to our advantage, and we change this into a way to get in to closer range to use this as a block as a shield and we're actually fighting in closer range that way uh, once again I want to focus on the arms cross position and from this position right here we're going to actually launch an attack this time okay so first let me demonstrate the first technique which is basically uh, comes from the heaven six like so so I'm going one two three and as I come back right here this is my arms cross position so from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my left hand right here to, to push like that. If you're familiar with the sticks, you know this is just pretty much a reinforced backhand. Okay, so I'm using this hand right here to shove the hand that's in front right here. Boom, like so. So one more time. One, two, three. As it comes back, boom, right there. One, two, three. Boom. One, two, three. Boom. One, two, three. Boom, one, two, three, boom. So that's the first technique. All right, so you can pretty much do that anytime your arm crosses and the arm that just attacked right here, anytime this hand is in the back like this, you could push that way. So basically the idea is a horizontal this way. You may have kind of seen me do this because uh, once you start doing some of the more circular and figure eight patterns, instead of going straight across this way, it likes to come at kind of like a wavy motion, boom. So that sets up for different uh, fan motion type attacks as well. But still, the idea is this horizontal line that we are covering, going from left to right. What we can do is we could actually change that to where it's going a diagonal downwards now into an actual slash this way. So it's the same thing, one, two, three, right here. And then I'm going to use this to come diagonally down. So one, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. And if you notice, one, two, three, right here, as I shove it down, this hand, the back hand right here, is also attacking. So it's basically double knife attacking simultaneously right here. Boom, but this is the one that's going to get, the arm in the front is the one that's getting all the shove and all the push, all the momentum right there. So even though this one, the backhand, does have some attacking capability, it's really all about the one in the front that's getting all the momentum there. So one more time, one, two, three, and boom, that's your diagonal slash one, two, three right here, and there's your horizontal and diagonal right there. All right, so for the last technique, uh, we're gonna work on momentum, okay? So we're going one, two, three right here, and then diagonal down. If you notice, my hand just wants to come back right there. So one, two, three, I come diagonal down, and then the hand just automatically comes back. One, two, three, boom, and it comes back. One, two, three, diagonal, boom, okay? So that really, if you practice, just practice it like this. Get this hand, shove that arm, and notice how it automatically comes back. I'm not really thinking of shoving this back to the front. It just kind of, I'm using this kind of leverage right here. It just, boom, naturally comes back. So shove it down and see, work on that springy motion where when you shove that arm down, it comes right back up like this. The other thing is, this is based off of this diagonal motion down and it just comes right back up this way. But we could also push it downwards and it naturally comes back this way. So the arm's right here and boom. So I'm shoving it downwards and it comes off to the side right here. So I could go this way and it comes forward, boom, comes this way, 
and boom, it comes this way. Either way, this is a very natural motion. It takes almost no effort on my part. Boom, and then I could add extra momentum there. But it naturally wants to go there. So imagine if I come from here, boom, and then it comes this way, boom, comes this way, and then I can change it to one of those. No problem. So thank you for watching, and take care, folks.